All right, love, so it's time to do a new tutorial. This hair is from Bally's Virgin Hair. And as you guys see, they did send me some bundles here. I do have four bundles of their 10A Mink Brazilian Body Wave hair. I do have two 16 inch bundles, an 18 and a 20 inch, along with an 18 inch middle part closure. I'm not really sure why I got an 18 inch closure and the shortest bundles were 16 inch, but you know what, I'm gonna make it work. So I do have the L'Oreal High Color Highlights here. This is in the color magenta. I do have five boxes of those this old baby bottle which I use to measure some gloves of course I'm watching one of my favorite shows which is supernatural some rubber bands a baggie and of course the bundles and they did send me some awesome amazing mink 3d lashes which is great if I did forget to mention I do have some developer as well which is the 30 developer these lashes are bomb as hell as you guys can see and this hair is super duper soft so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna mess with this closure it is a pre tweed middle part closure so I do want to dye it magenta as well but I don't want any of the hair dye getting onto any of the closures so to make it easy I'm going to take a rubber band and I'm going to put it like that right there ball it all together in the middle you want to make sure it's all gathered in the middle and I'm going to take a baggie just like a sandwich baggie make sure it's clean get yourself a brand new one or whatever and just tie it and knot it around and then just put a rubber band to secure it okay this just makes it a lot easier so that way none of the dye gets onto the closure and then you got to sit there and mess with it so go ahead and make that rubber band tight now it's time to go ahead and fill up this baby bottle with some of the 30 developer that I'm going to be using since the hair is virgin the instructions are on the inside of the box for the life of me I can't really remember I think it's 2.4 ounces of developer with one bottle or excuse me one tube of magenta or whatever color you're using so <clears throat> excuse me there so I'm pouring 2.4 ounces of the 30 ounce uh, 30 developer into the baby bottle and I just use the baby bottle because nobody else is going to use it anymore. It's super easy to, you know, measure with. It has like all of these little ounces on there. So, you know, I just use that. So I did run out of the Salon Pro. So I'm going to use this one right here, which is another another 30 developer cream. Um, this one was a lot cheaper at my local beauty supply store, like the Hood Beauty Supply Store. Not Sally's, but, you know, Sally's don't sell these, but, you know, it is what it is. They all work the same, but I do like to spend less than more. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix them. And despite the fact that you... You can just pierce these open with the caps I don't have all day so I do cut the bottoms open in all of my tubes and I just allow it to come out like this I mean like listen seriously I don't want to stand there for hours trying to squeeze it out of the little opening in the tube so I just cut the bottoms open as you guys see with a pair of scissors and the hair color comes out super quick just so much easier so as I stated I did have five boxes of magenta but I did end up going to have to purchase like three more or uh, was it two more? I think it was like two more. I had to end up purchasing like two more because I kind of like ran out only because of the way that I had dyed the hair. If I would have done it a little bit different, I probably would have had enough. But I didn't even use the whole two boxes that I used or I went out and repurchased. I ended up dyeing my son Wuzzle's hair with it. So that way it wouldn't go to waste because I had mixed it all together. But anyway, the bowl that I'm using is like super huge. I've been using this bowl for years for hair dye and it's just a lot easier. And yeah, you want to get yourself some good utensils. Make sure that you cover your surfaces because even though you can remove this hair dye, it's a lot better to just protect your surfaces so you don't have to go through all that. So now that I have emptied all of the magentas into the developer, I'm going to take a you know brush and I'm just going to mix it around this does take a couple of minutes because you want to make sure that there are no lumps in this hair or this this mixture so just make sure that once you're you know as you see right here it's all nice and smooth you don't have any type of lumps in it so it does take a few minutes so that's why I did the rest of it off camera because my arms was getting tired girl so as you guys see I'm just painting or just like you know applying the red magenta dye onto the hair this dye is amazing because if you have dark hair you don't want to dye it or bleach it or whatever or excuse me if you don't want to bleach it to make the color pop then you could definitely use l'oreal highlights i really do wish that there were other brands that did the same thing like it's just not just red but like i'm not really sure how the purple shows up by l'oreal highlights highlights but from my understanding and from just from watching certain videos it doesn't really appear or show up like that as well as the blue is already dark so i don't really i'm not really into the blue but i do love the red they're so different there's so many different reds that they have there's red there's magenta there's copper 
um i do like the red one because it's kind of more or less like a fiery red but it all depends on what you're styling it with but i also do like magenta as well especially when you hit um you're out into the sunlight when you're into the sunlight you just get like this different look so it does appear a little bit different on camera versus in person and when the sun hits it so i just continue doing all of the bundles just like this just you know basically applying the red to it i want to make sure that all of the strands of hair are saturated in each bundle you know what i'm saying i don't want any of the hair left out i don't want any black spots so it does take me longer than most because i just want to make sure that everything is perfect so i do go in in and out throughout the hair and just you know i brush it in i massage it in with my fingers because i'm not trying to have anything uncovered so you know it does take me longer than most and that is also another reason why i had to go out and buy more hair dye because i just want to make sure that everything gets saturated and everything gets covered really really well so the first thing that i would highly recommend is always make sure that you have enough hair dye because it really sucks if you got to run out the house and then run and speed through traffic and hurry up and get back just so that way you don't ruin your hair so now that I have went ahead and just processed all of this hair with this hair dye I'm going to let it set for a couple of hours all right love so I'm done with this red wig okay it came out really nice it's really long I did layer it and do like all that perfect stuff for it it is a pre tweezed middle part but I wanted it on the right side to be part so I just parted there. I did style it somewhat. This gave us some really low, loose curls because I didn't really want too much curls in this hair. I just kind of wanted it to just kind of like flow, you know. I wanted to wear it straight, but then I didn't want it to wear it straight. So I just was like, I'm just gonna put some loose curls in it and we're gonna see how it goes. Like meaning like some really, really loose curls, like some loose bump curls, nothing too dramatic. You know how sometimes certain colors don't look right in certain styles. Well, I wanted this just to be like very kind of like loose, but still very kind of like dramatic and glamorous. So like I said, I did layer it right here and in the front, I did leave like the bottom portion long and I did, once I got up to the middle, I did, you know, like layer it. I did put my combs in it so there are two combs in the front and there are also two combs in the back area the only thing that I do have to do is cut the lace this little bit of lace off this closure and then we're gonna style this baby up I'm going to put some you know pressed powder into it as well so let's see how she turned out let's style her I know that it's late, but baby, I'm up and I'm thinking about you, about you. Get you on the line and see if it's okay if I could come through, could come through. Feeling kind of lonely, I think I'm needing a dose of my blood, of my blood. Just at the studio, I can be there in 10 minutes. That cool, is that cool? Been craving your love and your body on mine. Hope I ain't break you, but I need your time. color of it now normally I haven't been wearing my hair this long in like a really long time like I just rather do 20 inches but hunty she is rather cute okay you know what so funny I have made probably like six red wigs 
and they kind of range in different colors. There'd be like a bright red, like a burgundy red. This was magenta and it came out this really pretty color. Um, and I've never kept any of them, you know what I'm saying? Like I like them and then I'm like, oh, I'll just make another one for myself and then I never get around to it. This one, she is definitely going to stay in my closet on my mannequin head because I actually do like her. Like I said, I don't ever wear red wigs like that. Like, so I'm trying to really like bench out. Y'all see, I love my blonde wig. So yes. The hair is extremely beautiful from Balis. I think that's how you pronounce it. They have like some extremely beautiful hair. So I will definitely give it to them for that. Their hair is like amazingly soft and pretty and it holds up to its expectations. A girl be expecting a whole lot. Of ish and I'm digging it like I like this this is like really really red Valentine's Day hair you know what I'm saying I like the density of it you guys know I like I don't know I just like when I make my own wigs I'm like really super duper happy like because I like fullness so you know I've used every last bit of this hair well I'm lying I probably didn't use like I want to say like six eight six to eight inches of it because there was nowhere else to put it but it's full enough it's nice and long it's full enough. It's not all over the place. I can definitely change up the style and make it tighter curls if I want to. But I like it like this, relaxed looking. It's not like all over the place. I like this color. And I ended up having to buy more L'Oreal highlights. I think I used a total of six just because of the way I did it. I was not too happy about that. But it is what it is. You can definitely check out Balis. They got some bomb ass hair. Yeah. I love the little pink tote bag that they sent with it. It was really cute. Metallic like pink. Really pretty fuchsia color. I do like their hair and it's still really soft and very flowy. The ends were a little bit dry I noticed. Um, that was it. Just the ends. So I, and you know what? I did trim them off and once I trimmed them it was fine because I wasn't going to cut them anyway. But I do like it. Sexy Valentine's Day hair. It fits very snug and that's the one thing I do like too when my wig fits snug and I ain't gotta worry about it slipping back then a girl be on point let me know what you think of Bally's I'll definitely post their information their links and all that good stuff below as well as I hope you guys like the new backdrop you can definitely pick them up from rosegal.com and if you want to see a video of how I hang them all up because they're on like a clothing rod definitely leave a comment and I'll post that below but they're all wall tapestries and they're really inexpensive. So I love you guys. Stay deep and deep delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Share this video with all your social media because you love me so much. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Oh